This is an AQA Psychology GCSE revision video for the paper one topic of perception with a specific focus on factors affecting perception and that factor being expectation. So to get started, let's understand what you need to know about perception and expectation. So the key term perceptual set is really important here. So perceptual set is the idea that we need to select what we are going to notice in our environment. We have to choose what's important and leave out what is not. And that's because there is so much information that we have to perceive on a regular basis every day. So your expectation can influence how you interpret what you see and hear around you. Expectation is a belief about what will happen based on past experiences. So expectation affects our perceptual set. There is a key study that you have to know for expectation and perception, and that is Bruno and Minton's study. So this is a key study, which means you could be given a nine mark question, like describe and evaluate Bruno's Minton, Bruno and Minton's study, which means that you would need to know up to four marks of describing the study. So that is the aim, procedure, findings and conclusion, and then be able to evaluate with two strong evaluation paragraphs to earn five marks of AO3. So let's begin by looking at the APFC of Bruno and Minton's study. So the aim was to see how expectation affects perceptual set. I'm just about expectation wrong, so I'm just going to cross out that E. Uh, to see how expectation affects perceptual set. Now, the procedure consisted of using participants and showing them an ambiguous figure. So that is what I have highlighted in orange. Ambiguous means the figure is unclear. So it was an independent group design where some participants were shown this image of A and a C and the ambiguous figure in the middle. And then the other half of participants were shown, shown this image, which has 12 and then 14 and the ambiguous figure in the middle. So hopefully you can already anticipate the findings in that this group of participants were more likely to draw the figure when asked as a B and this group of participants were more likely to draw the figure when asked as a number 13. So those were the findings. Most participants who were shown the sequence of letters drew B. Most who saw the sequence of numbers drew a number 13. And therefore, this study shows that expectation is an important influence on perceptual set because participants expected to see a number or a letter, depending on which group they were in. So moving on now to evaluate Bruno and Minton's study. A quick reminder of how you evaluate in psychology using GRAVE and then there are some questions here to help you evaluate using GRAVE in general. But I'm going to put three prompts on the board now. I'd like you to have a think about how you can relate these to Bruno and Minturn's study and evaluate the study. So is there any potential real life application? Could that be a strength? Is there issues with ecological validity and the fact that an independent group design was used in this study? So this is the opportunity for you to pause the video and think about how you could elaborate on each of these evaluation points into a point evidence conclusion writing frame. So I'm going to pause. I'll give you the opportunity to pause now and I'll go through the answer in five seconds. So you do only need two of these, but I always like to give a bit of extra. So there's a strength of the study that it can explain errors people make in everyday life. And there is a really good example here to use as your evidence in which a Navy person in America shot down an aeroplane thinking it was a military plane because they were informed that military action was taking place in the area. So their expectations were that it would be a military plane and therefore they shot down the wrong airplane based on their expectation. So this helps us to understand why people make errors in their judgments. It can also help you as a student to understand why sometimes when you read an exam answer, for example, you sort of read what you expect rather than what is actually there. So, again, that links into your knowledge of schemas, um, but it is a strength of this study because it helps us to understand why perception is affected by expectation. However, this particular study is bad because it lacks ecological validity. The ambiguous figure is nothing like everyday life. The pictures in the study were deliberately designed to trick people. And so that is an issue. It's not a very good way of how people make perceptions and errors in everyday life. And therefore it tells us little about everyday perception. So it doesn't really go beyond the lab. And that's why ecological validity is an important term to use here. 
and then finally the fact that an independent measures design was used so there might have been an issue with different participants in the different groups or individual differences for example in one group it might have been full of people whose name began with a b and in, therefore they were more likely to see it as the letter b or in the other group it could have been full of maths teachers who see numbers very regularly on a day-to-day -day basis so that could be why they saw the number 13 so participant variables might have affected the results of the study so the bits I have highlighted and are I'm currently highlighting are the really key things that you want to make sure that you get into your evaluation paragraphs if you're going to argue them effectively and gain those five AO3 marks if you were given a nine mark question or an evaluate question on this study. So that concludes the end of this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you find it useful.